Aurelius Augustinus, philosopher and church father, was born in 354 AD in the small Numidian town of Tagaste, not far from Hippo, respectively modern Sukarak and modern Haraba in Algeria, where he died in 430 AD. He lived during the last phase of the Roman Empire between 4 and 5th AD, the last part of the late antiquity that came shortly before the beginning of the Middle Ages. It is an era characterized by strong tension due to the progressive disintegration of the political and administrative structures of the Roman Empire after the invasions and the economic crisis and by the success of a new Christian culture to the detriment of the old pagan one. Augustine's troubled life is also affected by the family environment. His father, Patricius, was a pagan and his mother, Monica, was a fervent Christian who did her best to raise Augustine in the faith, although his father would not allow him to be baptized. Within the familiar environment, Augustine experiences the tension between two different worlds and two systems of values, the pagan and the Christian one, that affects the whole age in which he lives and acts. At the age of 16, Augustine left for Carthage in modern Tunisia to study law, rhetoric and philosophy. After completing his education, Augustine started his professional career as a teacher or professor of rhetoric. In 383 AD, looking for an answer to his spiritual restlessness and with the perspective of improving his own professional condition, Augustine went first to Rome and then to Milan, where he obtained the chair of rhetoric. In Milan, Augustine visited Bishop Ambrose and became a regular attendant of his preachings. Ambrose, or Saint Ambrose, the Bishop of Milan, is an extremely important character in the life of Augustine. Ambrose's preaching soon induced a spiritual crisis in Augustine. Following here, in 386 AD, Augustine embraced Christian faith and was baptized by Ambrose. After his baptism, Augustine returned to Tagaste in 388 and formed a religious community. Three years later, he was ordained priest and in 396 he was named the Bishop of Hippo. Augustine wrote prolifically. He is considered the father of Christian philosophy. He wrote one of the great spiritual masterpieces of all time, The Confession, one of the most influential books in the Catholic religion apart from the Bible. The book appears as an autobiography aimed at conversion, thus seen in the light of the new Christian conscience. However, the confessions can't be considered as part of the autobiographical genre. Let's consider the third section. Here, Augustine writes of his life and education up until the point of his conversion, but not in a typical chronological fashion. Large sections of Augustine's life are left out and critical figures are ignored or unnamed. Augustine did this because he wanted to focus only on the events in his life that led specifically to his conversion. In the second section of the book, he focused, as he implies a good Christian should, on understanding the major point of Catholic Christian doctrine. The second part has an exegetical doctrinal connotation, even though this is not a philosophical religious treaty per se, since even here, as in the first part, the reflections assumes the shape and tones of a prayer and of a continuous dialogue with the fundamental counterpart of the work, God.